Hello. I'm here at the Goodwill in Tempe, and we're gonna go in and see if we can find anything fun. So, this is the toy section. And I usually come over here and just kind of look. Sometimes they put stuff in the wrong place. So, I love, I love the bags. And so I'm just kind of looking to see. Like there's something Disney, I think. And then there's these cute little puzzles. Those would be great to put in like um, trick or treat bags. And I'm also looking for cards, like ABC cards that I can use door myself. But I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so now we're in housewares. And I see a, a cute salt and pepper shaker, but I'm kind of over those right at this moment. Really want something just a little bit different. Um, and I love the bags because sometimes you can like, look at these. They're kind of scary. I don't know, but they might be worth something. I don't know. So, but I'm really taking my time and seeing what I can find. Now these look interesting. Ah, nothing. Nothing. And I also look for um Padded envelopes too. Let's go over here. So let's see. Cute little dish. Not very old. Mystery box. <gasps> With a diamond in it. Yeah. What is this? It is. It's a ring box. That's kind of neat. With a giant thing on it. That's actually pretty cool. Let's find out what the color is today. I forget what it was. Um, here's some ha um, Halloween. No, <laughs> silly goose. This is Easter and St. Patrick's Day banner and little bunny pictures that's very cute and a ladybug and a nutcracker and what's this this is santa celebrate he's kind of neat I don't see a price on him. Oh well. I might come back for him. I don't see a price. Okay, that is scary. Um, yeah, too scary. Kind of neat. And Jasco. He's kind of cute. I wish there's more of him. Other than that, I don't really see anything. So we'll keep it. Okay, so let's go over here and see what we got in the pottery. Because you know I love pottery. Door. That's kind of neat. Um, looking for some mid century. Let's see. You just never know what you'll find over here. 
I'm keeping my eyes wide open. Like, look at that. It looks, that's funny. That's really funny. Okay. Okay, so let's look through the glass. See if there's anything wonderful. Look at that. It's a wine bottle. Golf. That's pretty cute. That's pretty heavy. Okay. This bowl. Ah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> what is it? Who's that? Yeah. Um, is it signed? Yeah, I'm going to say no. <clears throat> I think I found something. Okay, now I'm at the vases, and pretty much I see just clear, but this is interesting. Made in Mexico. It's very light. It's very pretty, though. I think I'm going to get that. Yep. Um, let's see up here. I don't see anything great. What is this? Check. That's what it is. You move over here to some more glass. Look at that. Mist. Yeah. Nothing. Let's look over here. Well, there's a little owl. He's kind of cute. He's not old. And there's like a little fairy lamp back there. But I just don't see anything that's grabbing my attention. This is interesting, this little trinket box. It's a heart. Looks like it's crystal. I'm not really trying to find that. This is interesting. It's like a paperweight. It's kind of neat looking. All right, let's go over to plates. Plates. See if there's anything that just Pops out at me and screams, You need to get me. Oh, Pop Tarts. If you're hungry, there's some Pop Tarts. I don't see anything.
canisters. No. Nope. So let's look over here. This is pretty. Let's see. Very pretty. TJ Maxx. interesting pattern. Look at that. Curious. Made in China. These are me. Vagabond. That was just kind of neat looking. All right, let's keep moving onward. I see a rooster plate down there. It's probably Italian. I see a kitty cat mug. And painted in Thailand. It's kind of neat. Get him. All right. Well, that wasn't bad. We actually got a few good things. Um, we'll take them home, and I'll probably be doing a haul video because I have a couple things I want to show you. Really neat. I'm glad we stopped. Hi everybody. So this is the haul part of my video. Sorry, this video might be a little bit longer because I found a lot of good stuff. And it's not only from today, it's also from the other day when I went sourcing while Billy was having his procedure. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got that I really like. And then we went again to this little honey pot that we found. And, um, I mean, some stuff can be a little pricey in there, but sometimes you can get some pretty good things, and I think I did. So let's get started. So we went to the Goodwill today, so let's start there. What did I find at the Goodwill? Um, okay, I found, hold on. I found these Homeco Pups in a Basket. Look how cute they are. Little puppies. We got a blanket on them. They are marked Home Co. 1990. They're just very sweet. So I got those there. My husband found something. No, was this there? Yes, this was at the Goodwill. So he found this box on the shelf and he opened the box. And what was inside is this crystal Cinderella slipper with Swarovski crystals. Isn't that beautiful? And this is going for quite a bit of money online. So this is probably not coming to a sale. It's going online, but it's very pretty. Good find for him. Okay, what else? No, no, no. Um, oh, I found this. I saw this little vase and it just sparkled. It was like odd. And it has like a gray undertone to it. And it is hand blown. And it's made in Mexico. And I just want you to see how it just sparkles. And it is so light and thin. And it's got like this swung kind of pulled top. But just the sparkle on that was so beautiful. So I got that there. I got a bag. There was a bag of ironwood animals. And I thought they were all different animals. So I just grabbed the two bags. But it turns out they're all quails. And there's probably 25 little quails. Some of them are broken. Some of them aren't in good shape. So unfortunately, I gotta get creative with them. So I'm gonna have to put my thinking cap on for them. Then I got this very sweet little, it's called Sweet Keepers. And it's made in Taiwan, 1980. But look at his little face. He's bisque, ceramic, and he's just kind of, he's got a snowball in his hand. He's coming at you. And he was just darling. I wish there was more of them there, but there weren't. And then I got a bowl. Um, 
This bowl is just a vegetable bowl, but here's what I have to tell you. I had gotten a string of vintage ceramic vegetables, you know, that are on a rope. Well, the rope was in really crappy condition. So I decided to cut the vegetables off there. And then I thought, well, what am I gonna do with them? I thought, well, if I could find a really neat bowl to sit them in, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them in this bowl and I'm gonna sell the whole thing. So, well, I'm hoping to sell the whole thing. Only time will tell. Um, no, I didn't get that. Oh, I got this. I don't know who makes this, but it's a little grouping of, again, bisque. It's a Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. They're not signed or anything. And then they stand in front of this bisque tree, just like that. And in front of that, they have a little fence. And I just thought they were adorable. They were one of the bag items, but the, the ears are in great shape, so they're in good shape. Okay, and then what else? Oh, I got um, these platters. I'm sorry I'm reaching, but I have so much stuff on my table. Um, I got these. They're not marked by anybody, but they're really gorgeous. There's two of them identical, and they've got these like Asian flowers on them. They're cobalt blue. They're like little, I don't know, appetizer trays, and there are two identical ones. So I really thought they were kind of neat, and they had a good price. So... We'll see how they go. Now I'm going to have to reach all the way to the other side. So bear with me. Can you hand me that platter? Which one? The, the platter. So I have a thing about nautical. I have a thing about the ocean. I can't get over myself. And I have a thing about platters. Is that not fun? For like a clam bake or a lobster bake you've got lobsters you got corn you got crab you got clams i don't know what those things are you got a tomato and there's a little bit of issue here and there because it's older and the reason i know it's a little bit older is because there's crazy on it but isn't it sweet even if you don't want to you know, put anything on it, just to sit it up on the on a shelf like that, it's just so neat. And I just love it. I just love it. It may end up staying with me. It's always that possibility in my house. Okay, so that's everything that we got at the Goodwill to show you. And then we went to another place, but I'm gonna keep a secret for now. Um, it's, um, it's a consignment shop and it's not the one that we all go to together. It's a different consignment shop and, um, they have higher end things in there, but you can get some deals. You just gotta look around. So for instance, I got this piece of Murano glass yesterday, uh, Thursday. Okay. It has the... Where is it? It has the Murano sticker right there. And it's got this like basket weave texture on the back and then this white like running through it. So I thought that was very pretty. I got this little glass pitcher, hand blown pitcher and with an applied handle, which I, again, just something really cute, but it was very reasonable. I got a set of shakers and they are mushrooms. These look like hobbyist piece to me. Um, and they don't have stoppers. I'm in the process of trying to find some stoppers, but they are mushroom shakers and they've got that great mid-century color to it. This is a little Mexican um, 
piece of pottery. It is signed to Mexico, but the colors are so neat. Now it looks kind of chocolate here on the camera, but it's actually purple and orange. And then it's got this like little jiggy jaggy top here. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Actually, my husband found that one. I got some Fiesta cups and these are the older Fiesta that are uh, printed, uh, stamped, they're not sticker. So I've got two, four, six of those, um, two of three different colors. So those are probably going in the sale. This is Imperial glass, it's a rose bowl, needs to be cleaned out. So I got this, um, not very big, but a really in good shape. And that's Imperial glass. I got some, Oh, my husband found this. This is probably not going in the sale. This is probably going on eBay because they're running on eBay for pretty good money. This is a glass blown owl, the shorty. I mean, it's not something I would put in my house, but somebody may like it. So he's going to go up on eBay. I got this. This I love. It's a bunny creamer. And the bunny, he pukes out his milk. Yeah. How fun would that be? You know what I would put in here? Truthfully, um, I would put, if you're having like your family over at Easter time and they're sleeping over and you're having a big breakfast and you have pancakes, I put syrup in this. I think that would be adorable. That syrup coming out of his mouth. Um, my husband got this. This is an oil and vinegar uh, hand-blown decanter. So you put the vinegar, wait, let me think. Yeah, the vinegar goes on the inside, the oil goes on the outside, and then you just tip it, and then you tip it, and it sits on your table, and it looks very nice. And it's very delicate, though. It's very, very thin uh, glass. I got, I'm almost done reaching, sorry again. I got this willow tree figurine, um, just because. And then I got a cat mug, which was just adorable. And you, you can see all the little fish, um, the fish bones all the way around it. But I, at his feet, are two little mice that he caught too. So I just think if you're a cat lover, he's in great shape, good color, and I like him a lot. Now this piece, I'm not sure. Well, this is going in the sale this week. This is Dahlia, and I think it's Japan. But I'm gonna have to look more into it. It's porcelain and it's love doves. Aren't they adorable? They're just having a little tete-a-tete. -tete. And they're on a log with some flowers. Very pretty. So, um, like him very much. He's very sweet. Now, this is probably going in the live sale. Um, I'm trying not to bring a lot of glass because the sisters bring a lot of glass. And so I think some people would like to have different stuff and I like pottery. So, um, but I am gonna bring this. It is hand blown, it's cobalt blue. I don't think there's any stickers or anything. No. Beautiful color, beautiful top and uh, real pretty. So he's probably going in the sale. Um, and then I have, do you think you can hand me those two pictures and that bowl? And then the last four items I have to show you, and then I'll get this uploaded. This is a piece of pottery that my husband found, which is a real nice piece of pottery. It's signed EP. So I will have to do some research into that. And I might ask the Glassy Sisters because they know. So let me have that. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is this one. So it's just plain black inside. It's got this ribbed handle that goes over the side. But look at the size of that. I mean, that could be boho. That could be mid-century. It really could. EP on the bottom. It's just 
nicely done, really nicely done. And I like the rusticness on the side where you have the glaze and you kind of have a little texture too. So I like that. Okay, this one I found and I'm gonna to have to do some research here. Um, it's purple and blue, which I really like, but it's a real deep bowl. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's also signed. I don't know, but I'm going to show it to the sisters because they tend to know that. And I'll move that over there. Sit. I got a piece of Mexican um, tanala or um, tabala, but it's not. It doesn't say it, but. Clearly it is, but it's a long, look at that. It's a long picture. So if you have a lot of little squatty animals or smaller pieces, this would be really nice in the background. You know, standing tall, she's got a yellow bird. She's got beautiful mid-century colors. There's some like red in there, ow, and brown. Ow, sorry, my carpal tunnel is acting up. Okay, last piece. Another hand-blown piece. Um, not sure I'm bringing this to the sale, but again, if anybody sees anything and you want to message me, please feel free to message me. It has an applied handle. It's the colors in case it's coming up a little brown is actually purple and white stripe. And then it's an encased white um, handle, which is applied. And then the bottom is not applied. It is all from the same piece. It's got Ponto on the bottom and very nice little unique piece. Pretty tall too. So uh, yes, I got a lot of glass, but I also got a lot of other things. And um, what, I'm, what we're gonna do now, what we're gonna spend an afternoon doing is um, picking and choosing what goes in the sale and cleaning things up and then putting items on eBay. And what we try to do, we have a very large table, and I, I probably said this before in one of my videos, so, um, you know, dementia, don't worry about it. But um, what we try to do is we put everything on our kitchen table, and we wanna sit at our kitchen table. So that kind of inspires us to put stuff up online, and we have a whole afternoon to do it. So we're gonna get cooking on that very shortly here. And, um, so yeah, that's what my afternoon looks like. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the things that we found. We're very excited to show them and bring them to you this week. This coming week, our sale is being pushed fo uh, back, no, forward, yeah, forward, an hour. So we're gonna try, instead of going on six o'clock Eastern, it's gonna be seven o'clock Eastern. So make sure you set your timers, leave yourself a reminder, Keep checking our Instagram between me and two glassy sisters. And I know already they've been putting things up for preview. So um, I have to get on the ball because I can't have them winning. No, 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 no. So I will take a couple pictures today, get them posted. And hope you enjoyed watching the video. Hope you enjoyed shopping with me, even though it's a short amount. And hope you enjoyed the haul. And we'll see you on Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern on Instagram on Two Glassy Sisters channel this week. Have a great week. Bye, guys.